The story of graduate education at Winnetour begins with Henry Francis DuPont. In 1926, Mr. DuPont inherited the family estate in the northern corner of Delaware. Over the next 25 years, he transformed the property into a showplace of art and nature, and in the fall of 1951, opened Winnetour to the public. Mr. DuPont's creation celebrated his approach to interior design as well as his admiration of early American craftsmanship. Historic architecture provided the backdrop for fine furnishings from America's past. The new museum created new challenges for Mr. DuPont. Staff was needed to study and record the collection, to develop tours, and to train guides to give those tours. The solution to the staffing dilemma came from Charles Montgomery, whom Mr. DuPont had hired in 1949 to help catalog his collection of furniture. Mr. Montgomery proposed the establishment of a master's program in decorative arts and material culture. Montgomery found an enthusiastic partner in the University of Delaware. The president of the university, Dr. John Perkins, fully endorsed the concept of a new program, and by the summer of 1952, the first group of fellows had arrived. Four graduated two years later and moved into jobs at Winnetour and other museums. The Winnetour program had taken flight. Charles Montgomery was central to the student experience in those early years. Back in the early 60s, CFM, as we called him, uh, Mr. Montgomery, Charles Montgomery was uh, not only the director of the program, but he was the, he was the Pied Piper for all of us students. He was a great, big, hulking man. He loomed over all of us. And he had an infectious, naive, youthful enthusiasm that could not be quenched. And uh, I think absolutely influenced every student here. And we were all mesmerized by the energy, the enthusiasm, his concern to involve us to the extent that he was involved. He was the source of energy for the program. In the late 1960s, interest arose in a second graduate program at Winnetour, a program in art conservation. The spark for the program was the construction of a new library and conservation center at Winnetour. Filled with spacious studios and state-of-the-art analytical equipment, the new building offered the perfect setting for students to train as conservators. Once again, the University of Delaware answered the call and agreed to collaborate. A key figure in shaping the new program was Charles Hummel, an early graduate of the Material Culture Program, who later served as senior curator and deputy director at Winnetour. The University of Delaware, uh, especially through Arnold Lippert, who was dean of the School of Arts and Sciences, then having toured the conservation facilities, understood immediately these were great facilities to provide a new training program, a new graduate training program. So they assigned um, Peter Sparks, who was in the chemistry department, and I was given the assignment for Winnetour to work together to uh, bring about a new program, new graduate program in art conservation. In 1972, Charles Hummel and Peter Sparks, working with others, drafted the curriculum for a three-year master's program. Dr. Sparks became the first director of the program, and the first class entered in the summer of 1974. From the start, the art conservation program at Winnetour and the University of Delaware offered instruction in the care and treatment of many media, including paintings, paper, textiles, furniture, and objects made of ceramic, glass, stone, or metal. In 1977, Jose Oraca added the conservation of photographs to the curriculum. Embedded in the study of all media, was a firm foundation of science, a foundation that grounded students in the chemical and physical properties of materials. The Winnetour programs in material culture and art conservation are unique, each in its own way. The culture program has always been interdisciplinary. It emphasizes an integrated approach to the study of American culture, a study that values both objects and the written word as primary sources, as keys for unlocking the past. In the 1950s, students took courses in American literature, art history, and history at the University of Delaware. 
these students also examined the museum collections at Winnetour and viewed a treasure trove of early design books in the Winnetour and university libraries. Field trips to other museums broadened the students' backgrounds. Craft demonstrations strengthened the students' understanding of craft and industry. These activities remain essential ingredients of the culture program. However, the field of study has expanded. Trips are no longer limited to the eastern United States. Students travel to England each year to study British design history. American material culture is now viewed within a global perspective, and topics of interest extend to the present day. Students are as likely to study design of the 1950s as they are of the 1750s. A vital part of the material culture program has always been connoisseurship. Curators teach students how to look at objects, how to read these objects from different perspectives, perspectives such as an object's use or manufacture, its style or materials, its original appearance, or its current condition. I remember the first day I began this program, and we went into a conference room, and we were all nervous. I was particularly nervous because having studied the 20th century, I knew very little about the 18th, 19th, or 17th, or any other part of American history. And I didn't know how it would go. And then the entire faculty walked in and taught us about chocolate chip cookies. And we talked about connoisseurship through dessert. And not only to break the ice, but it reminded me that this was a group of people that was here for us no matter what. And that they would stay with us and that they would walk us along and they would teach us and they would make sure at the end of the day that not only that we understood the material, but that we were comfortable with the material. Supportive staff guided Culture Fellow Nicholas Bell every step of the way. Equally important to Nicholas was the ready access to a superb museum collection at Winnetour. The Winnetour program prepared me for my career at the Smithsonian on a number of different levels. The most obvious level, it prepared me by putting history directly into my hands so that I didn't have to learn about the past from a slideshow or from a lecture. We went into the collection and we got to work our way around things to understand how they came into being and thus to really understand what makes an object interesting, uh, to understand it viscerally. The ability for our graduate students to be in the collections, to enter into the collections, to handle objects still, to examine them, is uh, incredibly important, and the ability to use the library, not only in the hours when the library is open, <laughs> but actually 24 hours a day if they wish to do so. The art conservation program offers its own distinctly memorable experiences for students. I still remember the moment that I learned about microscopy analysis, and this was working uh, with Melanie Gifford and Richard Wolbers learning both pigment identification and cross-section analysis. And I remember very laboriously polishing my cross-sections and thinking, I am going to be using this for the rest of my life. I can see what a powerful tool it's going to be. And in fact, it's turned out to be the focus of my career since then. Scientific analysis is just one of many areas of study in the art conservation program. The director of the program, Deborah Hess Norris, summarizes the rich and rewarding curriculum. The Winnetour University of Delaware program in art conservation is a three-year program that's focused on the examination, documentation, analysis, treatment, and preventive care of cultural property. The first year deals with a range of materials that provides the students with a fundamental knowledge about the care of a wide variety of materials, including but not limited to textiles, photographs, works of art on paper, and paintings. And at that time, the students begin to develop their skills, their critical thinking skills, their hand skills, their technical knowledge, and understanding of scientific principles and connoisseurship as well. Why are these materials important? And why should they be preserved for future generations? During the second year, students specialize in a major area of study. They may major in paper conservation and minor in photographic materials, or major in paintings conservation and study wooden artifacts as well. At this point, the students work hand in hand with our fantastic faculty from Winnetour and the University of Delaware to build their skills, to develop critical thinking, to 
expand their knowledge of the field to hone their connoisseurship and scientific understanding of these materials. During the third year of study, our graduate students intern for 11 months in museums, libraries, archives, conservation studios and laboratories in the United States and around the world at places like the Tate Modern, the National Gallery in Washington, the National Gallery in London, the British Museum, the Victorian and Albert Museum, the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Art Institute of Chicago, a wide variety of just fabulous places where they build their skills and knowledge and begin to expand their understanding of the field of conservation and prepare themselves for work in this field. In 1951, University of Delaware President Dr. John Perkins offered these prophetic words about the future of graduate education at Winnetour. The whole nation will benefit by having available more capable and better educated students of Americana for the staffs of libraries, museums, and universities. Today, Winnetour and the University of Delaware celebrate the nation's most successful university-museum partnership. The collaboration has yielded two pioneering master's programs, a network of more than 800 graduates working at over 200 institutions across the globe. Arguably, no academic programs have had a greater impact on American museums during the last half century. The record of accomplishments of our graduates is extraordinary. Winnetour-trained conservators have treated many of the nation's treasures, from the Declaration of Independence to the Star-Spangled Banner, from the robot C-3PO of the Star Wars saga to a spacesuit worn on Apollo 11. Graduates have developed groundbreaking techniques in the assessment and cleaning of artworks and painted surfaces. Museum professionals educated at Winnetour have transformed institutions, developed landmark exhibitions, and left a legacy of scholarship. Contributions by other graduates have had a lasting impact on academia, interior design, and the auction and antiques field. I think the most important result of the Winnetour program in American material culture is the contribution to a literal explosion of information about American material culture. The number of articles, the number of books that have been published by our graduates have made, I think, the most significant contribution and a greater contribution in depth than I think any of the other training programs that deal with material culture, American material culture, in, in the United States. What truly distinguishes our graduate program in art conservation is our global presence. We are working around the world, and we are firmly dedicated to doing so, to help to preserve cultural heritage in the Middle East, most specifically in Iraq, as well as throughout the United States, in South America, in China, in New Zealand, and Australia. And one of the greatest challenges facing collections of all kinds, beyond photographic materials certainly, is natural and man-made disasters. And our program has made a commitment to respond to these where possible, or at least to ensure that our students are well informed about the issues associated with the response and recovery and planning for disasters of all kinds. We participated in Hurricane Katrina response and worked particularly on the Mississippi Gulf Coast dealing with collections situated in Biloxi, Mississippi. And in doing so, we sent our students and faculty over a two-year period to the coast to help with the salvage and recovery of these fantastic collections. They were involved not only in the conservation treatment and stabilization of works of art of all kinds, but they are also deeply involved in education and training, working with other museums and collections across Mississippi and along the Gulf Coast, as well as the public, helping them to care for their heirlooms that have been lost and damaged as a result of Hurricane Katrina. More recently, they've worked in Haiti to deal with earthquake recovery, and in Japan following the tsunami to help with the preservation of photographic collections damaged following that catastrophic event. And this work continues. Most recently, we've been involved in training Iraqis in the preservation of their cultural heritage the University of Delaware and Winnetour worked together with the Walters Art Museum, with the State Department, with the Kurdish regional government, the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad, and others to establish an institute 
for the training of Iraqis in the preservation of cultural heritage. This has been a phenomenal experience for all of us and one that we feel very deeply about. When a tour changed my life, these four words capture the feeling of many graduates of the programs in art conservation and material culture. The exceptional resources and supportive faculty at Winnetour and the University of Delaware create a unique learning environment. Students develop the skills to think creatively about the past, to look differently at the material world, and to act knowledgeably in preserving history and art. The experience can shape a career and indeed change your life. I have one basic message for anyone who's interested in the program. If you're willing to work hard, it will be the best educational experience of your life. There was a point at which I was working at SPMEA as a graduate uh, intern, and I, I looked around and I pinched myself and I said, this is exactly what I want to be doing. I can't imagine anything having come together more perfectly for me and for what I love to do. And Winterthur made it happen. The route now is to go through graduate school. And, and honestly, I think this is the best graduate school in the country, at, maybe in the world, for conservation. Everyone I hear about when I travel says, you went to Winterthur? You must be good. 